how can I just drop this $15 course that promises to turn you into a top player? Does it actually work though? Well, in this video, I decided to put the pro code to the test and to see how much better I am at the end of this course. In day one of the pro code, Kaigai went over the importance of setting goals. Goals are important because without them, you're just blindly playing the game with no end goal. The action step for day one was to write down some of your goals and record a video of you yapping about said goals. These were some of my goals and here was my video. I happened to start the Pro Code 2.0 the day I started Artificial Scent, which is a pretty big jump from Bloodbath. In these 7 days, I streamed Artificial Scent every day and I set a goal for myself each stream. On day 1, my initial goal was to get 83 to 100, and I not only reached that target, but also surpassed it by getting 77 to 100. If I got almost a quarter of the level in a run on day 1, then how much progress would I have at the end of day 7? Day 2 had one of the most important strategies to become a top player, having fun. Video games are meant to be played for fun, so if you're not having fun, then just take a break or stop playing for the day. The action step for today was to play Geometry Dash with a friend, so I called this 40 year old man and played Artificial Scent. My goal for today was 70 to 100, which I ended up doing. Let's go, 70 to 100. We take those. GG. One of the reasons I jumped to Artificial Scent is because I love the level and I have fun every time I play it. If I instead jumped to a level that I hated at the same difficulty, I would never want to play it. Day 3 was all about believing in yourself. If you go into a level knowing that you'll beat it, then you'll end up beating it. If you go into a level thinking you might beat it, but you'll just see what happens, then you're not going to get anywhere. This is the case with Artificial Ascent. I know I can beat it, so I will beat it. If I didn't think I could beat it, then I wouldn't have 70 to 100 in 2 days. My goal for today was to get 64 to 100, which I knew I could do, and guess what? I failed mis- I did it, because I believed in myself. I also believe that you will subscribe- <laughs> Day 4 was about difficulty progression. If you take a gradual progression, then you'll have a very balanced skill set. If you take a huge jump, say, to firework, then you'll become amazing at cube and ship, but you won't improve much at wave. However, your mental strength will also become a lot stronger. Something most top players agreed on is that you should stick to a gradual progression and throw in a reasonable jump here and there. Day 4 also explained a practice technique some top players use called the Super Saucy Secrets Sleeping Strategy. So what you have to do is practice a part of the level that you're struggling with, go to bed, and then you'll be more consistent when you wake up. My goal for today was to get 54 to 100 on Artificial Ascent, which I ended up doing, but the part of 54 was still pretty hard for me. I played it for a bit before bed, went to sleep, and played it when I woke up. Yeah, it didn't really work, but I felt like I was a little more consistent than I was the night before. Maybe it's just a me problem, so you guys try it and then tell me how it goes in the comments. So day 5 was all about persistence, and this was definitely the most confusing day of the pro code, but I'll break it down for you. If you're playing in a bad mental state, then you should take a break, like we talked about on day 2. However, you can still be frustrated and have confidence in yourself at the same time. This is when you can persist, but if persisting breaks down your confidence, then it's best to take a break. Now let's say you're playing Bloodbath and you're super consistent. You're getting to cracks part every attempt, and then suddenly, you lose all your consistency. This is what's called a mind block. If you get a mind block, then you have to think about what just happened. Were you playing for too long? Were you having fun? If you realize what caused the mind block, then you might be able to break it. Now that that's out of the way, the action step for today was to play 500 attempts in a row on Stereo DSC. After I finished suffering, I started my first of three artificial scent streams that day because persistence and stuff. My goal for today was to get 48 to 100, which I somehow didn't manage to do after my three streams. Aww. Day 6 was about nerves. Nerve control is something that almost every player struggles with, but there are a few strategies that improve your nerve control. One thing you can do when you're getting far is to pretend that you're in practice mode or you're going from a start position. Oh yeah, Kaigai also brought back a silly little breathing lessons from the original pro code. And just like last time, I skipped this part because I am not taking breathing lessons from a shorts creator. Anyways, the action step for today was to breathe, and I decided not to do this action step and started streaming Artificial Ascent. My goal was still 48 to 100, which I finally ended up doing. I love mess. Hi, hello, welcome to day 7 of the Pro Code 2.0. So today we had a special guest, and Tried basically just taught us how to use Mega Hack, and that was all. I already had Mega Hack, and everything Tried talked about wasn't exactly top secret information. At this point, I felt like I've gotten plenty of progress at the end of the level for now, so I decided to start focusing on the beginning of the level. My goal for this stream was to get 9 to 25, which I ended up doing. I also managed to get 24%, which was cool. Yes, 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 I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it, I did it. So now that I've finished the Pro Code 2.0, let's see what I've accomplished this week. I got 24% and 48 to 100 on Artificial Scent, which is still crazy to me. However, this course isn't just for Geometry Dash. What Kagai did when he made this course is sneak a bunch of real life lessons into the course, basically tricking you into taking a self-improvement course. These lessons can be applied to many things, like in my case, YouTube. Is it worth it though? 
Right now, Geometry Smash, which has the Pro Code 2.0, is $15 a month. I think that the Pro Code 2.0 is already worth it, but Geometry Smash has a ton of other bonuses, like weekly Discord calls, live YouTube coaching, the Game Mode Mastery course, all these other bonuses, and Kai Guy is working to keep adding new courses and benefits to Geometry Smash. That's not even the best part, though. The best part about Geometry Smash is by far the community. Unlike public servers, Geometry Smash actually makes you feel welcomed. Immediately upon joining, you'll receive a warm welcome from tons of the members, and over time, get to become good friends with them and progress in the game together. The courses are great, but the sense of community is my favorite part. If this sounds interesting to you at all, you can click the link in the description to start your 7-day free trial. However, if you still aren't convinced, Kaga has a completely free version of Geometry Smash Dash Academy. Dash Academy gives you access to the Dash Academy community and also the Pro Code 1.0. I actually made a video on the Pro Code 1.0, which you can watch here if you haven't already. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm tired of editing. Goodbye.